Hello! In this tutorial, we will talk about the brightness slider, the luminance curve, and the ways to adjust the curves in 3D LUT Creator. As you already know from the previous lessons, the brightness slider and luminance curve from the Special Curves section depend on the chosen color model of the program. In general, both of these tools will work with the component of the color model that is responsible for the lightness. In the LAB model, it is the L channel. In the MXY model, it is the M component. In the HSP model, it is P, which is perceptual brightness. In the CMYK model, it is the black ink channel. And in the RGBW model, it is the white light. Let's start with the brightness slider. Let's load this image into the program and try to change its brightness. Now I change the color model and see what happens. As you can see, depending on the color model, the brightness and saturation of the image will change in different ways. The method by which the brightness slider works is selected in this drop-down list. Now the brightness slider works as the gamma curve. To view the curve shape, you can open the analyzer window and select 3D LUT curves. This analyzer shows the shape of the curves that we write to the LUT file. If you move the cursor to any neutral color, for example, the black background under the image, then you can see the shape of the curve that the brightness slider uses to adjust the brightness. As you can see from the analyzer, now it works as the gamma curve. That's how the brightness slider works in the multiply mode. Now I choose the add mode. The curve does not change its slope, but it moves either up or down. That's how the compress mode works. Looking ahead, I will say that these modes affect the changes in brightness with the AB grid. But this mode does not influence the luminance curve. Strictly speaking, using the luminance curve, you can repeat any action of the brightness slider. On the other hand, you can make much more accurate manipulations when using a separate curve that controls the lightness component of the chosen color model. To enable the luminance curve, I click on the curve's window and then click on the image and pull. Please notice how the curves bend in the 3D LUT Creator. For comparison, let's try to create the same curve shape in Photoshop. To do this, I have to put three points on the curve instead of two. If I need to completely eliminate the influence of the point position to the rest of the curve, then in Photoshop, I will have to add one more point. So I need four points. In 3D LUT Creator, three points will be enough for this. Let's consider how you can adjust the curves in 3D LUT Creator. To delete a point from a curve, you need to right-click on it. You can change the position of the point with arrows on the keyboard. You can move between points by pressing the plus and minus keys. If you need to enter the exact position of the point, Select the point and press Enter. Then type the position in a window that appears at the top left. If you click on a curve between two points with the Shift key pressed down, the curve will turn into a straight line between these points. And if you move the point while holding the Alt key, then other points will move as well. We call it the rubber curve. There is a rich arsenal for working with curves in the 3D LUT Creator. To turn off the curve, use this switch. To reset the curve, you need to click on the switch while holding the control key or command on the Mac. If you have a complex curve shape with strong bends, then you can smooth it by clicking on the switch with the shift key pressed down. As I mentioned before, the luminance curve adjusts the lightness component of the chosen color model. Let me show it with this example. Let's try to darken the image with the curve. In this case, I work on the HSPE color model. In the HSP-based models, as well as in the LAB models, when you change lightness, the color component will not change. But what will happen in other models? In the RGBW model, the same curve shape will increase the saturation in the shadows. The more I bend the curve, the higher the saturation. For this image, it works just fine. If I bend the curves up, I will reduce the saturation. If I change the color model to the CMYK, then the lightening of the image with the luminance curve will increase the saturation in the light areas. This is clearly visible here. Let's load the next image. 
When I lighten it, the saturation will also increase. If you need to darken the pale sky, it is better to do it in the RGBW color model because you will increase its saturation. Let's load the next image. By darkening it, I increase the saturation in the shadows. If I want to highlight this area in the RGBW model, it will also become desaturated. This is the before and that is the after. I hope that this video helped you understand how to work with the brightness slider and the luminance curves. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.